was a dark and stormy night. Hi! Today's video is going to be based on a three-part series that I wrote a while ago, and it's on the three steps of learning how to draw. This is something that's been on the Simple Art Tips site for a while now, and the posts themselves go into depth on each of the steps. In this video, I'm going to give you just a very quick, simple rundown. You're being loud. Stop munching so loud. Like I said, there's three steps to learning how to draw. You can't really skip over these steps, so be patient with yourself and and don't try to skip over these steps. If you do that, you'll just be holding yourself back and you'll take twice as long trying to learn things at random that way. So step one, draw what you see. This means literally learn just to draw what you see in front of you. The best way to learn to draw what you see is obviously to draw from life. And this can include plein air drawing, life drawing, still life, and self-portraits using a mirror. At the beginning, your mind gets in the way a lot and it starts telling you that whatever it is that you're drawing doesn't look good or it doesn't look pretty. That's, that's not helpful at all. So that's why the first thing you need to do is teach your mind to shut up. Just focus on drawing the things that you're seeing in front of you. Just try to describe the shapes, try to replicate the shapes on paper and this can be kind of a frustrating experience at the beginning but once you start learning to draw what you're actually seeing that's when you move on to the next step which is draw what you know so when i say things that you know that means more of the theory of drawing and the theory of art and design so things like anatomy vocabulary terms, color theory, things like that. Basing yourself on theory and established principles will help you make much more confident decisions as you work and it will really improve the quality of your work. The three theories I suggest that a beginner focuses on are anatomy, perspective, and design principles. I'll be making videos on all of these. I've already made a video on color theory. If you haven't seen that, I'll be sure to link it below. To really strengthen your understanding of these theories, it's important to also work with them hands-on. So what I mean is study the theory and then apply the theory. And finally, the third step is draw what you want to see which I think is where everybody wants to start. You just want to go out and draw cool characters and maybe make fan art or draw your friends' characters. In general, if you're into drawing, that's kind of the goal that you have is to be able to draw the things that are in your mind. And that is definitely not where you start. Don't use that as your practice. Don't use that as your learning method from the very beginning because that's what I did. That's what I think most of us do is just try to draw whatever it is that we think we see in our heads or whatever characters we see, whatever situations we see and it does not come out and we get frustrated and we hate ourselves and we hate our art. That's not really a healthy way to learn. It doesn't make the experience any better and it doesn't make you learn any faster. The drawing what you want to see, the drawing things that are in your head, is the very last step. So don't get frustrated with yourself if you can't draw what you want to see at the very beginning. So at this point, if you're at step three, you can start experimenting with all sorts of projects. In my experience, it's always been helpful to plan before I start drawing. Start with research, use references, make thumbnails, make roughs make tight sketches, make color breaks, use tracing paper. All of these things that I've written posts about previously, which again, you can find links below. All of these things combined will help you grow as an artist. I know I keep repeating myself, but there's lots of really useful information on the website. You just have to click the links below. Step three isn't a finish line. There is no finish line. From here, drawing is a never-ending learning process. There's always something you can get better at. There's always something you can learn. I hope this has been enlightening to you. Please check out the links below and my website, simpleartips.com, to learn a lot more about the things that I talked here. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. I, I don't think I've ever said this before, but I have all of my social media links in the description below too. My username is Art by Carolina on most of them, but you can just links there below. Social media. <laughs> I seem a lot more put together online, I think, than, than I do in, in real life. <laughs>
But I'm really nice and you should totally message me and let me know what you would like to see me do on a video next. If you would like to support Simple Art Tips, you can follow the link below to my Society6 store and buy a print or a t-shirt or a mug or a pillow. And if you don't want to buy anything, that's totally fine. You can just share Simple Art Tips with your friends and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with me through all of my awkwardness in this video. <laughs> Thank you for getting through this video to the very end. Bye. You should add me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter? What is it? What are these? What's social media?